I'm Nancy Hoover from the School of Graduate Studies at UMKC. This video is the first of a couple of videos outlining the formatting and submission process for your thesis or dissertation. The UMKC Guide to Formatting Theses and Dissertations is online at the School of Graduate Studies website. That's sgs.umkc.edu. On the current students link, click on Thesis and Dissertation Guidelines. We're going to talk about the approval process, the role of your supervisory committee, the role of the School of Graduate Studies, and the role of the university in the submission process. Your supervisory committee will do a preliminary review of your manuscript. You want to make sure that your committee chair and your committee members are all available during the semester when you plan to finish your thesis or dissertation. This is especially important if you're trying to graduate in the summer. You'll work with your committee chair and determine when your drafts are ready for review by the rest of your committee. Sometimes you'll submit them to your committee chapter by chapter. Sometimes you'll wait till you have a total draft. That's up between you and your committee chair. Make sure you give your committee a reasonable length of time for review. Do not leave your document in their office mailbox and assume it will be reviewed. Always transmit your document along with a memo explaining your intent to graduate this semester and the date by which you'll appreciate their feedback. About six weeks prior to graduation, you'll turn in a copy of your thesis or dissertation to the School of Graduate Studies for format review. You may turn in a hard copy or an electronic copy. All copies should be accompanied by a preliminary approval form signed by your advisor and a MoSpace license form. MoSpace is the digital institutional repository of the University of Missouri system. It's a permanent digital storehouse of research focusing on works created by those connected with the University of Missouri. MoSpace is a place where faculty, staff, and students can store their intellectual output and depend upon a permanent URL. They are at mospace.umsystem.edu. All the UMKC theses and dissertations can be found at this link. All UMKC theses and dissertations are published to MoSpace. In some cases, you may delay the release of your document online, but you must have permission from the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies to do so. The MoSpace license form is available on the thesis dissertation guideline page. The preliminary approval form is also available on the thesis dissertation guideline page. This form lets the School of Graduate Studies know which bibliographic reference style you use in your paper. APA, Chicago Manual, MLA, IEEE, ACM, or a variety of journal styles. You may use any bibliographic reference style you wish, but you must file, follow a consistent style. If you are using a journal style, please provide School Graduate Studies a copy of the notes to authors from that journal. If you are using EndNote, make sure you know re which reference style you selected when you created your reference list. If you're going to submit an electronic copy, it needs to be in a single MS Word file and named with our convention of last name, dash thesis, dash draft, spring 2015. There's an example for you. The most based license form should be a PDF containing your signature and be named last name dash spring 2015 dash most base. The preliminary approval form should be a PDF containing your advisor signature and named the same within the same method. Email your document as an attachment to Nancy Hoover in the School of Graduate Studies at hoovern at umkc.edu. Make sure you Include your telephone number in your email. If your document is too large for email, please use the UMKC Digital Dropbox. You may upload your large document to the Dropbox and the recipient will be notified by email to log in and retrieve the document. If you want to submit hard copies, you need to bring it to the School of Graduate Studies reception desk and complete a contact form. The School of Graduate Studies is located in Area 300F of the Administrative Center at 5115 Oak Street. If you, submit, you can submit copies of your hard copies of your most based license form and preliminary approval form with your document. After your draft has been reviewed for format, 
you'll be contacted by the staff to come in and spend about 15 minutes going over formatting corrections. If you're not living in Kansas City, let us know and we can work with you on the corrections via phone or email. With your committee chair about the same time, you need to schedule your oral defense. Your defense must take place while UMKC is in session and no later than the last day of the semester. You should take along final evaluation forms and final, evaluation and final examination forms to your defense. After your committee is satisfied that you have made all the necessary corrections to your document, your supervisory committee chairperson will sign and send all of the committee members final evaluation forms to the School of Graduate Studies. After defense, once your defense is complete and all evaluation forms have been received by the School of Graduate Studies, you'll be issued a cert certification of acceptance. The certification will be emailed to you along with instructions for uploading a final PDF copy of your document to ProQuest. All UMKC theses and dissertations are published on ProQuest. You have about two weeks to complete all the paperwork for graduation and upload to ProQuest after graduation. The deadline and date is, usually, is published on the School of Graduate Studies website. We will give you the upload link and specific instructions for uploading. You will need a single PDF copy of your thesis or dissertation and a credit or debit card. The only fee you're required to pay is about a $45 charge for providing a hardbound copy to the UMKC archives. You are not required to register your copyright, but if you choose to do so, ProQuest will expedite that process for you for a fee. By law, you're copyrighted whether you register it or not. Registering your copyright gives you some extra protection under the law if somebody borrows your work. You may also order hard copies from ProQuest. When your upload is complete, an email is sent to the School of Graduate Studies. School of Graduate Studies determines that you've uploaded the correct copy and that all the questions have been answered. We, SGS then pushes the document onto ProQuest and notifies the registration office that you've completed your thesis or dissertation degree requirement. ProQuest then provides a digital copy of the document back to the MoSpace repository. If you have questions about the submission process or formatting, please contact me, Nancy Hoover, from the School of Graduate Studies. My email is hooverann at umkc.edu, and my phone number is 816-235-1731. Please see the next video for technical instructions on preparing and formatting your thesis or dissertation. We have a list of typists or editors who are available to hire if you want to hire someone to complete your formatting.